he said there's only four teams that can win the West. Dallas, Colorado, Edmonton, and the Knights. No Vancouver, no Winnipeg. No Winnipeg. Nope. He, he's not going to give him that chance. No chance. Always follow the, money. follow the money. That's what I always say. You always follow yeah, the money. Yeah. This is Follow the Money with Mitch Moss and Polly Howard on v uh, Series <laughs> price is available now in the NHL. They're set uh, in the Eastern Conference anyway. The Bruins are a buck twenty against the Maple Leafs. I think that's about right. Do you? Well, you look at their co- uh, the, the angle of this. Like it's like the sixteen one in the NCAA with the Bruins, right? You uh, uh, best regular season ever, and then they lose. The big question for me is, and I'm a huge Jim Montgomery fan. I have been for many years. Is he going to stick to this platoon or not? Uh-huh. He didn't last year. He did it the twenty games up to the playoffs. And then he went with Allmark for six games, and again, he had the rib, and nobody knew, and they blow the 3-1 lead, and then he throws Swayman in in Game 7. Too late. Will he stick to it here? I don't know about the Leafs' DNA, but I, don't, I didn't think that the Bruins, I'd have made this about $1.30, so I think that price is about right. I'll tell you what, we missed one yesterday on the show. Matthew's going for goal number 70. Uh, the shots on goal prop was 4.5. Yeah. He had seven shots on goal in the first period, 12 for the game. You know that they were going to do whatever they could to try yeah. to get him 70 goals. There was a lot of those in their last games here, like Palmieri with the Islanders. They're feeding the pucks to these guys to try to get them those milestone, milestone goals, goals, 30, 40, whatever it is, mm-hmm. if you look at it that way. The Islanders against the Hurricanes. Jeff Davis loves yeah. Carolina here, yeah. who sets the numbers. Yeah. He has Carolina minus 435. Well, the market does here, minus 435. So I have to tell you, nobody should be a 430 favorite in a hockey series. That's the the unpredictability right. of the Stanley Cup playoffs. You've seen all the eight seeds, a goalie gets hot that can carry him. Even when, remember when Bobrovsky was in Columbus? Oh, yeah. They were a $4 dog and they swept Tampa Bay That's that year. Right. Who was That's the ones. right. It's just too much. Same thing, Rangers, Caps. It's too much. Although I think the Caps, if you look at these with our 450 favorites, I think the Caps have a better shot of beating the Rangers than the Islanders do the Canes. Just because I think Charlie Lindgren is really underrated. And when they made him the number one goalie there in Washington, that's when they had their surge and they won these games to get in. I'm not saying either one's going to win, but if you're looking for a long shot, I would take the Caps before I take the Islanders. You would. Ne- I, I don't think the either Islander goaltender has played that well. Capitals, negative 37 goal differential. Mm-hmm. Eliminated my Red Wings. They don't score. They're, they were a great under team this year, a great first period under team. They're not a lot of five-on-five goals. They're good on the power play. Because of Ovechkin, they could still put him on the spot, and then that right. pulls the defense. But um, the low scoring, I wouldn't be surprised if you see some flat fives in this Is series that right? for totals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Davis told me that uh, he made the Kraken a favorite over the Capitals on a neutral. Kraken had, I think, 79 points this year. Oh, boy. But... Uh, upsets do happen all the time yeah. in the first round. Panthers are laying 210 here at Circa to the Lightning, Tampa Bay plus 180. Yeah, and that's kind of a short price for a, you know what's essentially a 1-8 in the new mm-hmm. format. Uh-huh. But look, Vasilevsky was horrible the first half. He was out, and he's come back. He's been good again. I still think probably John Cooper, you got to rank him right there, if not the best coach, one of the best two or three coaches. And that's respect for Tampa Bay in the market here. There's one series set in the West. Yeah. Colorado and Winnipeg. Yeah, this is the most fascinating of every first-round matchup to me. Sure, because the power rating in Colorado is still going to be super high, but the way Winnipeg has played, for the most part, all year long, and if they can get this to be their style of hockey hockey series, are they not completely live to win this thing at plus 125? You know they swept Colorado this year, 3-0, and the goal differential is 17-4. Okay, they've dominated Colorado all three games. They just, what was the game the they other night? 7-0. Seven 7-0 nothing. Seven nothing, at Colorado, yeah. Yeah. and Winnipeg has home ice here. I think it's very interesting, and usually I wouldn't bet teams to win the Cup entering the playoffs. Winnipeg 19-1. to one. How about Vancouver, who will have home ice the first two series at least? And if Dallas gets eliminated, they would have home ice all the Western. You can get them plus 1850? Demko's back. Yeah, yeah. The question was, would he get back? He he played against Calgary, beat him three to one the other, four to one the other night. He's back. So I think those are two very interesting prices on teams. I bet the Kings before the season twenty six to one. Now they're thirty four to one. Look, they needed to beat Minnesota the other night. I really think they had a much better shot against Edmonton than they do against Dallas. I don't think it matters for the Knights, but the Knights win tonight. They wrap up the three. Yeah. So they would go to Edmonton which you could argue is the better path to say in the Pacific 
then have to go play Dallas, and if you beat Dallas, you get Winnipeg or Colorado. Sure. I mean, there's no easy path. No. But I think it's much more beneficial it would for the Kings, because remember, the Kings took the Oilers to seven games in the first round last That's year. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Also, I don't think they can beat Dallas. I was going to ask you, what's more likely to happen this year? A Canadian team actually makes the Stanley Cup final, or they all lose in the first round? It sounds to me no, like first you'd round. Say, oh, I've, first round. That's more likely. Yeah, I don't think they're making. What well, it's it's Edmonton and Toronto, right? Um, well, you we, could, Vancouver or Winnipeg. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, three forty. So we open this prop. But remember, we put this up oh, at the I'm beginning looking at it of the right year. now. Yeah. Yeah. It closed three forty two eighty. I think we opened it th- 320. And at one time it was 450. At one time it was down to minus 260. When Edmonton went on that 17 game run, I think it was down to minus 260 on USA. So it ends up almost right where it began. Is there a series that you're waiting to get set? You're looking for a price to jump on? I will play Dallas against the Kings, but I'm not going to lay $3. I would probably try to play minus a game and a half or two and a half. Okay. Uh, whatever that price is. You would even go as high as two and a half. Yeah, I don't think the Kings match up very well no. with Dallas at all. Are they the best team in the West? I would say Colorado is, except I don't trust Georgiev. Or Georgiev, however you want to say it, right? Mm-hmm. I just don't. So it, it was interesting because Stormy and I on Friday had Shane Knighty on, and he said there's only four teams that can win the West. Dallas, Colorado, Edmonton, and the Knights. No Vancouver, no Winnipeg. No Winnipeg. Nope. He, he's not going to give them that chance. No chance. It was a very strong statement. And then we had yeah. Jonathan Davis on uh, when I was on with Adam Kaufman on Saturday, and I asked him about what Knighty said. He said, I think Knighty's 100% correct. Is that right? Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Not a lot of talk about my Preds here. Not really feeling great. You bet him at what, JVT? Got like 90 to 1. To win the cup? Yeah. It's one. none of my – Mike Savage convinced me. I was like, that sounds good. I need to sweat. Let's go. You know, that series – is set, but I haven't seen a price on I it. I haven't seen any right, but it's right. set. It can't it it can't move. That's can't go another that, way. No, that's the two seven matchup. 